Welcome back, Pokemon trainers. Professor Chaz here, the Lab Coats on Backorder, and it's episode 47 time of the Pokemon Blue playthrough. The playthrough that should have been done long ago, but as I'll say later, blame Ash Ketchum. Anyways, right now we're going to finish some training for the current recruits that we have. We'll take a quick team recap, get things started as quickly as possible. We have Tails at level 27, our Vulpix. She's got Ember, Quick Attack, Tail Whip, and Roar. Next we have Sheldon, the level 29 War Turtle. He has Water Gun, Bubble, Bite, and Tail Whip. Here we see Sprout at level 29, our Ivysaur, who has Vine Whip, Tackle, Leech Seed, and Poison Powder. And finally, the other trainee right now heads the level 28 Doduo with Peck, Fury Attack, and Growl. Without anything more being said right now, I'll talk to you in a little bit. I want to get into this grinding right now, get these Pokemon to the levels that I want them to be at. So let's begin. <laughs>
I overestimate my ability to grind. Um, I don't think we're going to make it into the gym today, unfortunately, despite all my promises and vows to do it no matter how far the episode gets extended. I just, I just can't extend the episode that long, and we really must razor leave. But, with all this grinding that we have done today, half the episode... Would you like to hit a razor leaf, please, Sprout, after all of this grinding that we have just gone through? You know what? I'm not doing this. Okay. Let's go, Sheldon. Take this pony's head down. Half the episode has been just getting these Pokemon trained up, and what I was hoping to do is, I do have, like I said before, a team planned out for who I want to take into Viridian Gym, and I'm still going to have to grind them up to a decent level as well, because I want to go with, I'm thinking level 45 for the team, because Blaine's Ace Arcanine is at level 47, and I gotta figure that the uh, gym leader of the next gym is gonna have comparable Pokemon. Alright, so we need a Burn Heal. And I'm almost out of Super Potions and money to buy Super Potions as well, so we gotta try to finish all of this grinding right here and now. I was trying to maximize the amount of HP I was getting out of each Super Potion. I didn't want to waste, you know, as much money as possible. But anyway... As I was saying previously about Blame Ash Ketchum, uh, mentioned in a previous episode, but I'll re or re mention it again, reiterate the fact that I was writing my stories of my own adventures and coinciding along with Ash's adventures, in which about a half hour of game time for myself I would equate to an, a day's worth of adventure in the anime. And by the time I made it back to Viridian Gym, Ash hadn't even gone through half of the region. So I had to sort of fill up time, and at that point, like, initially I really didn't want to just capture Pokemon and put them in the PC, because to me that felt like not really fair to them, you know, and not giving them a chance to shine. But now I feel a little more okay with it, because they've shown in the anime that they go to Professor Oak's lab, and they have a nice big field to play around in and everything, so just for the sake of filling up the Pokedex, I did become a little more open to the thought of capturing Pokemon and just leaving them in the PC. But now... Yeah, so basically I'm just going and, you know, that's why I was filling up my time with waiting for Ash to get to the point when Viridian Gym was actually going to be accessible. And the Razor, er, Razor Leaf, I just saw Razor Leaf on screen. And the Pokemon League, of course, comes up later on too. So we lose the Razor Leaf to disable it, we can tackle this Grimer. Does this get us a level up? It does. Sprout hits level 32. After all of this time, finally, I'm not touching that B button. Sprout is evolving into Venusaur right now. So that's good. Hello, Sprout. Now, it's kind of weird us having a Venusaur, of course. That is our rival's main Pokemon. But I'm not going to hold that against Sprout. He is our Venusaur. Venusaur, the seed Pokemon. The plant blooms when it is absorbing solar energy. It stays on the move to seek sunlight. All right, so with that, we're done training Sprout for now. Let's switch him down and go for Sheldon next. Sheldon's actually pretty good to train here on Cinnabar Island. We only did a little bit of training here for starters. But he is good because he has that water type attack, or two water type attacks actually to deal with all the fire types. Kind of a not really helpful when we come across a wild muck, which you might have seen in the grinding montage. Shelbert had to step in and help his son out. But here we see a Grimer, so we're not going to get the super effective water attack off on this, but we can go for the bite. Now, what I was doing during the grinding, I was going for the bite attack for anything I outsped for the chance to flinch them. And there's a flinch right there. That's only the second flinch we've gotten all day. If you can believe that. I can believe it. I lived it. Alright, Water Gun, take the Grimer down. We are poisoned, but we do have Antidotes. We're not running short on those anytime soon. And here we see Level Up for Sheldon to level 36. And the long-awaited Blastoise, which I could have had since Episode 1. Not really, because of course I would have had to train Shelbert. But Sheldon has become... Sh I was going to say Shelbert. Sheldon has become Blastoise! Okay, let's check out this Pokedex data. Blastoise, the shellfish Pokemon. A brutal Pokemon with pressurized water jets on its shell. They are used for high-speed tackles. They're also used for hydro pumps, if and when Sheldon actually learns that. Now, next we're going to train the next Pokemon we captured, Heads, who was difficult to train initially, then at, whoops, we're poisoned, then at level 30 he learned Drill Peck, I believe it was. Alright, Sheldon, no more poison for you. We could have actually left the poison on, but I don't like to do that. It's, it's just mean to the Pokemon. So, here we get a Grimer. But yes, now that uh, Heads has Drill Peck, although he's two levels below, I think we're going to stay in and go for the Drill Peck attack. See if Heads can get this KO all by himself. One more Drill Peck, we'll get him there. Don't... Okay, good. I was going to say, don't you even do that. 
Drill Peck drops the Grimer, and if I'm right, that is a level up for Head, so level 31. Evolution for our Doe Duo. Here we go. Evolutions back to back to back. That's what I said in the last episode, I think. I try to get the Pokemon trained up to just under the level up to their evolution stage, so I can speed through it all, and we have our Dodrio now, so we're done training Heads. Let's check out this Pokedex data once again. Where are you at, Dodrio? Dodrio, the triple bird Pokemon, uses its three brains to execute complex plans. While two heads sleep, one head stays awake. Do they draw straws to see who stays awake the uh, time there, or what? I'm not sure. Alright, the final training goes to Tails the Vulpix. Now, a viewer by the name of Robert actually mentioned in the last episode that I could have just used a Fire Stone to evolve into Nine Tails, which is certainly true, because it is a Stone Evolution Pokemon here, Vulpix. But what I wanted to do is actually train her up to learn a certain move that she learns at level 35, if my research holds true. And we should be within one or two battles of getting that level up. She was kind of difficult to train up until she learned Confuse Ray and got some good confusion off on all the wild Raticate and Furo we were coming across. They just disabled the Tail Whip. That is totally fine. We're just going to continue burning away. I don't know if this one battle is going to get the level up or it's going to take one more, but either way, we should be within range to finish training up our Evolpix here. Let's see if we get the level up. Yes, we do. Level 35. Tails learns Flamethrower. Yes, we're going to get rid of Ember for something over twice as much powerful. Twice as much powerful? Is that English? It's close enough. Tails forgets Ember. Tails learns Flamethrower. Now, I don't know if you noticed it or not in the last grinding montage, but we did stop into Celadon Department Store and picked up the Firestone, which we are now going to use to get a Ninetales. And this is the last Pokemon to add to the collection before we take on Viridian Gym. It's been a long, grueling struggle to get here. It's not over yet, of course. They're grinding for the team. But Tails has evolved into Ninetales. Let's check out one final Pokedex data. Data entry, I should say. Ninetales, the fox Pokemon. Very smart and very vengeful. Grabbing one of its many tails could result in a thousand-year curse. That's very nice there, Tails. So what we're going to do, I'm going to head back to the Pokemon Center. I'm going to deposit... Why am I choosing Pokemon? I'm going to deposit the Pokemon. I'm done training for now. I'm going to choose the team that I'm going to grind up for Viridian Gym. I'm not going to mention who they are just yet, but I'm sure you're going to see them in the grinding montage as we begin right now.
going to do it for today's episode. We didn't finish all the grinding that I wanted to, but the next episode is going to start off with what I am hoping to be the last bit of grinding before Viridian Gym, and I apologize, I didn't actually accomplish that in this episode as I was hoping to, and I was vowing the entire time, but we're going to save it up right here. So we are going to start off with the final grinding before the gym, and next episode, I don't want to vow this, because chances are something could happen, but... With the, uh, the best of my ability, we are going to go into Viridian Gym and get that badge and move the story as far as we can within the half hour of the next episode because it's been a long time getting to this point. Alright, I just want to say thank you for checking out today's episode. Thank you for sticking with me through all of this boring stuff. And again, blame Ash Ketchum. Taking too long to get through the region. Anyways, that is going to be it. We're going to end off this episode. Once again, thank you for checking out today's episode of Pokemon Blue. And come on back on Sunday for what I'm hoping is the Viridian Gym Battle. Thank you once again, and I'll catch you next time.